This is this is meme like, quite frankly. Uh, the valuation is is disconnected from the fundamentals. Short sellers were hit with five point seven billion dollars of unrealized losses. And really, that's what separates the bears and bulls on the stock, Kelly and Tyler, is that the bears see it as a car company and the bulls see it as an AI company. All that and more. So let's get to it. Tesla stock is down in the pre-market a little over a quarter of a percent. For the week, however, Tesla is up over 20%. For the month, over 40%. Year to date, Tesla is almost up 1% after such a dismal year. Needless to say, the pop has been astounding. Let's start with Tesla. Shares shot up by 27% last week and wiped out losses for all of 2024. Our next guest, though, said in a recent note that he expects Tesla to face many of the same challenges next year that it's facing right now, and just with more competition. Same challenges, more competition? Any other auto companies leading the charge in autonomous driving? Wait, wait, wait. I think there might be some auto companies that produce nine and a half gigawatts in a quarter. What? Other auto companies have a humanoid robot in production while having the best selling vehicle on the planet. He actually rates Tesla underperform with $120 per share price target. Tony, I'm looking at it. Tesla is almost at 150 or 250. That is so far above your price target. What do you do at this point? Uh, Tesla's had a great run, as you mentioned, up, I think, 25% in the last week, almost 40% in the last couple of weeks. Um, it's clearly riding momentum of better than feared results. But this is a company whose deliveries were down 5% this quarter. They were down 9% last quarter. It's trading at 125 times earnings. Um, there's anticipation that things may get a little better, but they're still not good. And there's anticipation about a robo-taxi event in early August. And so we could continue to see uh, some momentum in the stock. But this is this is meme-like, quite frankly. Uh, the valuation is, is disconnected from the fundamentals. The stock was supposed to, the company was supposed to earn $7 in earnings this year. Consensus estimates are now $2. And the stock price is really not that different. Um, and it's really about enthusiasm that things may get better and that Tesla may say something really exciting at its robo-taxi announcement. But at the end of the day, stocks get measured on cash flows and future cash flows, and we just see a disconnect between uh, what that earnings and cash flow power is and the company's current share price. It's all right. Most of the street can't really see the future cash flows of Tesla. I mean, a decade ago, a battery electric vehicle being the best-selling vehicle on the planet, who would have probably bet against that all day, every day, until it became a reality. Let's forget about the robo-taxi for a second and that possible future revenue. The energy division alone is doing remarkable. In my personal opinion, that's why the stock popped. That is an incredible amount of growth. And if it is moderately sustainable for the next couple of quarters, expect TSLA to climb even higher. This is not your granddaddy's automobile company. It just baffles me when people only talk about the production and delivery numbers of the vehicles, which themselves house so much future revenue possibilities. Fundamentals be damned, the company has a tendency to do the impossible, and when other companies follow suit, it looks kind of ridiculous. Tony, I, I, I hear your point, but that is the same argument that the, you know, the shorts have been making against Tesla for a very, very long time to their great dismay. Uh, I, I just wonder, do you keep your $120 price target or is there a point where you have to say, OK, forget it. We're back to earlier valuations of Tesla and I'm not going to stick to it or do you? I, I mean, of course, any investor has to be open minded about what a company may or may not do. And so um, if we did see a path where Tesla could be a leader in autonomous vehicles or Tesla could build a very sizable uh, business of building humanoid robots, of course, we would have to adjust our outlook and our, our future estimates and accordingly our price target. But, but at this point, um, we, don't, we don't see that. We believe that autonomy is a ways out, and we don't believe that Tesla will uniquely solve that problem. Uh, Waymo has been working at this. They've been doing 
trials since 2012 on self-driving. Tesla has not, not done any public trials. I suppose that depends on the definition of public trial. I think I've personally been doing it for almost two years now. Others, quite a bit longer. Uh, not to say that Tesla won't do well on self, full self-driving. It's just not, um, not something that it necessarily will be able to exclusively do. And you have to almost believe that to get to the, type, the types of valuations that uh, Tesla stock uh, is currently trading at. Not only do I believe that, I believe that TSLA has much, much more to go. You were saying earlier how uh, folks had FOMO and even a name like Tesla, which sort of was almost uh, out of the mag seven, people were disinterested in Tesla. Lone Ranger or, or Han Solo, mag seven, that's over have this win streak and soars higher now once again people are discussing the valuation in a big way you know that'll happen nicole when people want to kick it out of the uh you know the magnificent seven and then it rallies nine straight sessions it's up 40 percent in that time frame kind of puts everything back on the radar you damn right uh, you know, Tesla still has some short interest built built up in it. There was some uh, some commentary and some data that was thrown out there today. Short sellers were hit with $5.7 billion of unrealized losses. Ooh, what? God damn, that's a lot of losses. Uh, Year-to-date losses, $1.7 billion, ac according to Ortex Technologies. 3.84% uh, percent uh, short, uh, short open interest in this name. So that's kind of uh, getting to the high side for Tesla, but maybe getting a little bit of a short squeeze here uh, on that. You know, had they had their delivery numbers last week that were a little bit better than expected. Still down year over year, but better than the street expected. And then you've got earnings on the 23rd. That's going to be a catalyst. Uh, maybe we'll get some more clarity on the humanoids. And then August 8th, uh, you've got the uh, the big robo taxi event that everybody's excited for. Uh, and that might be that next silo of revenue generation for them if they can roll that out, start licensing it to the OEMs and uh, some of the others in the tech space. You, you got to remember all the data that Tesla has gathered since they started selling these EVs. monster rally for shares of Tesla over the past month, enough to turn them positive on the year and make the case it's even earned its way back into the MAG-7. They not like us. Huge surge in stock price, but the fundamentals, they haven't changed much at all. Maybe for those that aren't looking hard enough, maybe they've got their eyes closed to Tesla's enormous opportunity in various different fields. Revenue and earnings growth in the current quarter is expected well below the other six mega caps, even if it is back in the Magnificent Seven. Of the seven, Tesla's the only one expected to see revenue growth shrink in the current quarter and earnings growth even more dire here, expected to decrease 34%. But fundamentals, of course, they're rarely the driver of Tesla shares. It is momentum and the promise of technological breakthroughs that only Musk is capable of. And now that momentum seems to be back on Tesla's side, the stakes are high for the company to lay out its AI strategy and in particular, NVIDIA's role when it reports on July 23rd. Now, the company has bought and deployed tens of thousands of NVIDIA GPUs over the last few years to build powerful AI infrastructure for Tesla. Last month, though, Musk confirmed our own Laura Kalani's reporting that he redirected a Tesla batch of those GPUs to X and XAI, two of his private companies. Are we still talking about this? We're now one month away from the RoboTaxi event on August 8th, which Wed Bush, Wed Bush sees as, quote, laying the yellow brick road to full self-driving and an autonomous future. And really, that's what separates the bears and bulls on the stock, Kelly and Tyler, is that the bears see it as a car company and the bulls see it as an AI company. But increasingly, Musk and co are going to have to show how it's an AI company and what they're doing with all those GPUs. But you think fundamentally there wasn't, you know, maybe it was it was flows. You know, I always think... Um you know, could have something to do even with the overhang from his big pay package or something, right? Something changed. Yeah, and you know what it was? It was last week's deliveries, right? That yeah. surprised on the upside, even though they're still declining. But again, it doesn't justify the kind of valuation with those kinds of growth numbers, right? Especially just when you compare them to some of the other mega caps. So it really is kind of still a show me story, but the stock 
going up like that has raised the stakes for those earnings in just a few weeks. Perhaps some anticipation as well for that August event where we'll maybe learn yes. more about these ambitions. This incredible lack of understanding why Tesla has popped. I suppose you can't really blame the financial news media. All the explanations that I hear just seem to be surface level. The energy deployment alone is going to give a boost to revenue that no one seems to be expecting, which will make the stock pop yet again. I don't know. I don't know. All I do know is that I'm going to keep buying TSLA with every spare dollar that I have because while analysts fumble with the details provided lack the necessary insight to be well informed yeah all i'm seeing is opportunity in conclusion tesla fundamentals are under attack oh no if you're just looking at this company like a car company you are definitely going to miss all those future cash flow opportunities now, saying that you shouldn't look at the automobile side of the house it is important but as volumes return to the automobile side of the house tesla will also be activating various different streams of revenue the energy division is what will be prominently displayed in this next earnings report as tesla continues to progress with fsd the take rate will grow subscription outright purchasing those that experience this software knows that this is the cheapest this stuff will ever be this maturation in fsd will ultimately lead to ride sharing revenue from the robo taxi off the back of this autonomous vision only approach you can throw that software into a humanoid robot creating the smartest inorganic thing on the planet something tells me they're just getting started that's all i've got for you today Easy. Burr.